video is from Butt King. Oh my god. TJ. Now the only reason why, why the only reason this? is because he talks about you in the video. Why are and you he, doing and, this, man? And he spews utter bullshit. Oh my god. And I just why want you, you doing to this. <laughs> Why are you doing this, Please man? Please subscribe. No! Please no one like. wants to subscribe to you, you fat, evil piece of shit! He changed his intro. There's no more final countdown. I wonder if he got flagged for it. Da -da -da -da. Now we're gonna skip that. Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah, Hello, yeah, yeah. No one cares My about all that. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio Show. God TV Radio. Make sure you have, has always is it been TV or is it radio? Supernatural to the unknown. All of us... Immediately, whenever we look at our immediately. universe, we can see the the appearance of design. Even non-believers point this out, even atheist scientists. Eventually, he's going to get to you and talk about our show and how we're full of shit and everything. But Right. But then they want to try to go down one of these philosophical rabbit holes in order to try to, you know, fudge it all up and say, well, uh. if the universe was designed, then it could have been designed better. Well... Sometimes we drive cars and we don't think a lot of them seem. But I discovered that he had to have, like the atheist boy had that. I've been challenging a lot of non-believers out there on YouTube, and a lot uh, of them seem very afraid. All right, here it comes. I've challenged Shaking Darren in Roth. My boots. I've challenged the atheist voice. I've challenged Jacqueline Glenn. Uh -huh. I've challenged the amazing atheist. The amazing atheist had me on his show, uh -huh. and I did that. But I discovered that he had to have like four or five other individuals with him he couldn't do it on his own you can't uh, hold on battles S hold on hold on stop the the that's the premise of the show there's always like a few people on here it's usually at least me and ben right the hosts of the show right i mean that's the whole thing of the show and usually like uh, not so much this month because of fucking uh, his girlfriend but usually scotty's on here too <laughs> so there's usually like three people on the show just by default and then sometimes we have a guest or something, too. But there's no... It's not like, oh, we're afraid to face Brett Keen. I mean, and, and if anything... No. If anything, he's the one who does that because he's actually never come on the show by himself. He always brings a little posse of people. <laughs> and then he... Yeah, and then he never even fucking talks. He just fucking sits back yeah. while his little posse fucking talks. Anyone who's new to the show, go back and watch the Religion Debate video on our channel. And you'll see uh, that Brett just kind of randomly called us one day and he had like three or four guys with him. And it was just me and TJ at first. And then we brought Paul's ego into the mix. And yeah, but we'll let's play a little more. It's it, it gets even more ridiculous. And I kind of let him get a pass on that because I realized that he's not smart enough to run the podcast and run the technical stuff all on his own. Right. But he also had suggested that um, when we talked, I asked him if he would be willing to actually debate me on my turf within one of my live hangouts. There's no turf. This is the internet. This is YouTube. It's all the same place. section of the internet. Right, really right. Owns... Come to our side, the dark side of the tracks. <laughs> yeah, it's like, fuck well, I mean, you. there is like the that turf. part of YouTube, you know, the weird part of YouTube. Oh, you yeah, you gotta watch your back. 4 a.m. And... <laughs> yeah. It doesn't involve 10 people to operate a system in order to... It doesn't involve 10... No, no. Brett, it's one person. It's one person much. operating. Yeah, ben, ben operates the technical aspects of the show. Pretty much 100%. <laughs> ...for it to work. The Amazing Atheist has still yet and refused to actually show up have any kind of discussion or debate having to do with his own worldview. Apparently, he just wants to do his podcast where he gets drunk all day and insults people, and that's all he's got. Yeah. I love how he just makes these, like, definite statements. Like, he 10 is, people drunk all day, you know? He is, he is the ultimate YouTube con man. Well, I guess he's not ultimate because he never really went anywhere with it. But He's the ultimate exaggerator. The, the funny thing about him is, like, he used to be an atheist, then he was a Christian, then he was an atheist. Now he's what he calls a theist because he won't take a, a particular position on theism. You know I what? almost never believe people who are currently Christians and say they used to be atheists. You know, I think they're I, just trying to make it look like you can become a Christian after being an atheist. And I just <laughs> find that difficult to believe. But, well, I mean, in his case, there's some, you know, he actually did make atheist videos on YouTube for a long time. Oh, he's really? actually, 
he actually inspired TJ to start making videos. That's, That's true. the odd part. Well done. Yeah. Um, but Brett, you know, I'm actually the one that banned you from our show, not TJ. Because <laughs> you started... We uh, we were polite to you. We had you on our show. We uh, there's actually there actually is one instance where Brett came on by himself, and it was towards the end of a show, uh, and and we were cool with him. We actually treated him with respect, and even though we think he's full of shit, you know, we were nice to him. But I'm the one that banned you from the show, Brett, not TJ, and it has nothing to do with TJ not being able to run the technical aspects of the show. <laughs> <laughs> 